having a break a long time ago six million familiar faces but no one to know keep forgetting and welcome to my studio space and I have Sai Makes a Friend is out by Anne Marie Stevens Ooh. and <laughs> Sean Loves Sharks by Curtis Manley and then next year 2018 Grizzly Boy by Barbara Davis Piles will be out and then 2019 a non-fiction picture book called Woodwire and Wings will come out by Kristen Larson have an interesting process um, I use both traditional and digital media. Draft before final. That means this was ready for paper, for pencil work. So I use my handy dandy Huion <laughs> light table and pencil it out. There's not a lot of representation out there for mixed kids. Um, so I try to have that type of representation out there because that's something that's definitely happening now in this world. I think there's a lot of identity issues that happen when you're not, you don't see yourself anywhere in any media or. Um, have any role models in that way. These are all my final pencil sketches for every single spread of Sean Love Sharks. <laughs> um, say this is finished. We'll go to my awesome scanner. Okay, so this is the final spread. Um, one of the final spreads in Sean. And let me see if I can show you this easily. This is the pencil work. So I did all the levels when I scanned it in, and then I painted. Um, so for the whole book, I had this color palette here. This, and this is the skin tones and the types of clothes that he wears and then this is Stacy his his pal in the book um, so and I'm a big advocate for Kyle's brushes which is a collection of digital brushes that you can use on Photoshop uh, and then for this one let me see which one that I use pretty sure I used gouache a go go Let's see if it's working. So this is what it looked like. So the nice thing about this brush is that it's got a little bit less opacity so I can still give it a painterly feel. And then, so I'm pretty sure this is a little bit of recollection because this was two years ago. Um, but th the nice thing about layers is I can add the background in after I've done this, though usually I might want to do the background first. 
So there is this nice big blue background behind them. Um, so, I actually did not read a lot as a kiddo, um, and I was really influenced by animation. Um, so, these are two books that I grew up with, Bill Pete, um, awesome author and illustrator of children's books, but he used to work for Disney, hopefully. Um, but he did, he worked on Alice in Wonderland, on Pinocchio, and he did a lot of character work. So being able to be exposed to characters and scenery and how you can be influenced by everyday life and put that into a story, that was really big for me. <laughs> I got this when I was in elementary school and I was exposed to character development again um, and where's storyboarding storyboarding which is something that I do now which is there's a huge tie-in to picture book and um, animation in terms of how can you tell a story vis story visually and then I moved on well Totoro Come on. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, being able to imagine and just just be in everyday life and see something incredible. This is Totoro. Watch it. It's amazing. <laughs> you really love to travel? So, let's see. This is a tattoo I, that, that I drew for a friend. <laughs> um... These are little notes that I have. This is the Subasac pie eating habits. By hand, we always lick the plates. We don't even try, this is my brother, we don't even try to take it out <laughs> of the, the tin. Um, other notes of my family, how my family works. This is when I got to hold a lion cub in New Zealand which doesn't make any sense why that was in New Zealand, but one of them chewed on my shoe, and that was probably one of the best memories ever. I'm on this awesome backpacking trip. This is my first backpacking trip. I went on with my friend Mauricio. We took the ferry out to Olympic National Park. Um, this is a view from the lookout on the ferry and we ate so many Takis we didn't feel very good after that Do you have to be blue if you use the color blue? No, you don't. That's my answer. You can just be happy. <laughs>